the clock has just ticked over 2.30 and I'm on my way out for another exciting adventure. Although I don't feel all that excited at the moment. I'm just trying to wake up. But nevertheless, the sky is clear. It is a beautiful calm night and that is all I can expect from a nightscape adventure. So, let's get on the road. Okay, so what's happening is I have been in contact with a friend of mine, Tony, who owns a farm, and he's got this old truck that he's asked me to come and shoot tonight. Uh, I've been waiting for a good clear night. So early morning Milky Way Galactic Core over the truck, that is my target for tonight. Now, the, the biggest problem I've got to work through tonight is the fact that this truck is at his house. It's a farm, but uh, where the truck is actually located is uh, just outside Tony's house. So it's about, well, it's gonna be about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't wanna wake the whole family up, so I've gotta be careful. I've gotta sort of be walking around and not making too much noise. So when I get there, I'll have to just work out just how I'm gonna do that and make a video at the same time. Anyway, Let's get out there first and we'll see how we go. around here but look at that have a look at that beauty milky way right over the top of this beautiful old truck I'm not sure what brand it is I'll have a look in a minute but it is fantastic now the sky is clear there is a little bit of wispy cloud down on the horizon down there but I think that will actually add to the character of this old truck so the core is right above the truck, just behind. I think that's a perfect composition. I've got to get going because that's rising up very quickly. So I'm going to get set up. All right, so it's a Morris commercial, just the same as the one out at the farm that I shoot on a fairly regular basis. So yep, very familiar with these old trucks. Oh, it's fantastic out here. Man, oh man, this is so good. All right, I'm gonna set my camera up, work out the composition, and go from there. All right, so I've just shot the truck here. Got my camera nice and low down, you can see it here. I shot 10 shots at f1.8 wide open, ISO 3200, um, and 
I think that's going to do pretty good. 13 second shutter speed, so it's 20 millimeter lens, Z6 Mark II. This is a hydrogen alpha modified camera, which means it's fairly sensitive to light and it gives that little bit brighter uh, image. And the Milky Way back there, cloudy, sort of misty cloudy. So I'm experimenting a bit. I took 10 shots. Don't have to use them all, I can just use one if I feel so led. And I might even get the tracker out and just do something here as well because it's such a beautiful night. Um, but I walked around, did the light painting as I always do with my fine art light painting method. And uh, gee, it's getting cold out here, which is a far cry from the last time I was out, just earlier in this week it was, and it was oh, gee, 26 degrees or something. It's about 10 degrees now so this is much more comfortable but anyway I'm going to look around and see if I can find any more subjects here on the farm might be something who knows but um, anyway that's the truck and I think it's looking fantastic well I found this old 1418 Mercedes-Benz I don't know if it's a yeah it's a semi-trailer must be an old one on the farm here um, I can get it to line up but the core is getting a bit higher over there so I'll, I'll see how I go but yeah, it's yellow. So yellow vehicle like this, very difficult to light paint because it's so bright. So I've got to dial down the settings a fair bit, but I'll do my fine art light painting and we'll just see how we go. It really is quite funny, the things that we do. I'm squeezed up right underneath this old trailer here. Oh, it looks pretty good. Um, I've been shooting this at f5.6. It's pretty much my standard settings for the camera for a foreground like this. I'm just gonna use one tracked background exposure for this. So that's shot at f2.2, 60 seconds. Um, and yeah, this one, well, it's something a little bit different. I wasn't expecting to get this one, but hey, I'm here now, so I might as well go for it. So you can see I've got my tracker set up here right next to the truck. So I'm basically shooting over the back uh, where my camera previously was just down here. Galactic core. Now I'm trying a few different settings here. This one at the moment I'm shooting at f2.2. Uh, ISO 800 for 60 seconds, one single exposure. I've also tried it at f2.8. So I'll just have a look and see which one I like the best. Um, and yeah, this is just great. It's getting pretty late. Oh, I'm getting pretty tired, but anyway, it's going well. It is a perfect night, perfect. Now you can see I've got the lens warmer on the camera here. Uh, this 20 millimeter Nikon lens fogs up like anything. So I've definitely got it going tonight. There's a bit of dew around. There's not much wind, um, but that thing is working fantastically, going well. All right, well, that's about it from me out here on the farm. It's been fantastic. Really nice night. I'm still keeping my voice down because people are still in bed, but it's probably about five o'clock. Being farmers, I don't think they'll be far from coming up. Um, Venus rising over there in the background. Still a gorgeous night, I tell you what. Australian summer nights. When the weather's not too hot, it is absolutely amazing. All right, thanks so much for joining in. I hope you enjoy these images and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.